your girl Hope from Hopefully Created and welcome back to my channel. We are back and better than ever and today we're going to be learning how to make phone grips with Crystalax brand new product Grand Finale. This was my first time making these and I totally loved how they came out. I'll be linking down below where I purchased my phone grips. Um, I got a pack of 10 for about $5 so they came out to 50 cents each which is not bad at all. Um, you're going to want to start making sure that you prep your surface. I prep my surface by sanding it with 400 grit sanding pad. Once you're done sanding, you're gonna wanna make sure you wipe off any sanding dust that you may have so you have a clean surface to then go in with your universal white. I'm gonna be using the universal white to prime my phone grip and I will also be using Flip and Awesome paints as a primer as well. I am making a couple different phone grips so I'll be using what color I think will match best with my glitter. So as you can see, I did make a couple phone grips. Um, some I used universal white, like I said, and others I did use Flip and Awesome paints. Um, after I let the paint dry for about two hours, I am now going to glitter them. I'm going to be using the Crystalac glitter glue as my adhesive. You're just going to put a very small amount on the phone grip and just spread it around with your brush evenly. Once you're done spreading your glitter glue, you're going to go in with your glitter and glitter your phone grip. I am going to speed up the video because I did glitter about 12 phone grips. So I'm just going to speed this up so that you can see me glittering the phone grips. It is a little bit out of frame, but don't worry because in the next clip, I'll be showing you when I go in with a second coat just in case you need to see how I apply my glitter. Okay, so after I did do my coats of glitter on my phone grips, some of them I did feel needed a second coat. So after they dried for two hours, I went in with some more glitter glue and added a second coat of glitter. Once I finished glittering my phone grips, I did let them dry for two hours and then I did spray them with E6000 spray and I let that dry for an additional two hours. The purpose of the E6000 spray is so that when you add your top coat, your glitter does not move. It seals the glitter all in place. I will leave the E6000 spray link down below in the description. You can also find it in my Amazon storefront along with a lot of other products that I use. So for my top coat, I am going to be using the new Grand Finale by the Crystalac Company. This is a top coat that has higher solids than bright tones, so it will build up quicker. And the best thing about Grand Finale is that instead of a four hour dry time that bright tone has, this only has a two hour dry time. So you can finish something twice as fast with the solids building up faster as well. You're gonna wanna add a small amount to your phone grip and just spread it around your finger and sit it down and let it dry. 
they say wet it and forget it and that's literally what we're going to do we're going to put a small amount spread it around with our finger and sit it down to dry after you let your foam grips dry for about two hours, you can then go in with your second coat of Grand Finale. You'll then repeat the coats as needed. So every two hours, you will be able to add another coat of Grand Finale. I did about four to five coats before my foam grips were completely smooth and ready for decals. Another great thing about Grand Finale is like Bright Tone, it is not toxic, so you can apply it with your finger. You don't need any gloves, no respirator. You can use it inside your home and it comes in a bottle ready to use. Once my foam grips were completely smooth and ready for decals, I went into design space and I measured my foam grip. It was 1.5 inches, so I created a circle, that exact measurement, so that whatever I wanted to put on my foam grip, it would be sized correctly. So whether I wanted to put on an image or wording, I would be able to fit that onto the circle so I knew that when I printed it, it would fit correctly and it would be to size. Once you've cut your decals and you have them ready, it's time to put them on your phone grips. As you can see, my phone grips are completely smooth. You're going to want to check to make sure that they don't have any ridges or anything that's protruding because that will show through the vinyl. So for the beach one, um, I did decide to not put any decals on it. I just decided to paint some waves on it. So I'm going to be using some universal white and a very thin paintbrush and just lightly paint some white lines to create some waves. So here you're going to see me adding on a decal onto my first phone grip. Um, I am just going to put some transfer tape to then transfer the decal onto my phone grip. And you'll see that since I measured it on design space with a circle, the exact size of the phone grip, it did fit perfectly. So here I'm just going to be adding the remaining decals to the rest of the phone grips. I'm going to just speed up so you can see me adding the decals and then we'll move on to the part where we're going to begin to seal them.
Okay, so decals are finished. They look super cute. And now it's time to add our top coat so we can seal them. So we're going to be doing the same thing as we did in the beginning to seal our decal. We are going to put a small drop of Grand Finale, spread it around with your finger, sit it down and let it dry. You'll let it dry for two hours before you go in with another coat. You'll then repeat the coats as needed until you no longer feel your decal. After about four to five coats of Grand Finale, I was no longer able to feel my decal. It really just depends on the kind of glitter you use, the kind of vinyl, so you really don't want to go based off a certain number and more on just how it feels. Okay guys, here is the final product. These phone grips came out adorable. I'm definitely gonna make more of them just because it was a very simple and fun project to do. Grand Finale was very easy to use. And let's just take a moment and appreciate how these sparkle in the sun, like okay. Best part is I can never find a phone grip I like and now I can make my own. As always guys, I will leave everything linked down below. You can check my Amazon storefront and I'll link all the products I use in the description. Thanks for watching and see you next time.